Um, his third question from Madhuri Saab is, um, and I'll come back to you to begin with, uh, Doc Saab, on this, is about alcohol. And he asks, why has alcohol been forbidden in Islam? But before the time of the Holy Prophet وسلم, it was readily available. And if alcohol is haram, why is it used in medicine? So let's take sort of this, this element of it first well, of all. One thing that comes to my mind is that alcohol, he says, was available before the time of the Holy Prophet mm -hmm. However, alcohol was available during the time of the Holy Prophet وسلم, was readily available. And from history we know that the Arabs used to uh, consume alcohol in great quantities and they used to have drinking bouts and bouts that may put the lager louts of today at shame you know this mm -hmm. is the type of alcoholism that was rampant during the time of the holy mm -hmm. prophet sallallahu but and this is a great but but when the verses of the holy quran were revealed when alcohol was forbidden it is said that rivers of alcohol were seen to be flowing because uh, they had broken their caskets in which this this was <coughs> contained so the for, the alcohol was forbidden by by the verses of the holy quran and muslims obviously were then permit, not permitted to consume alcohol so why was it so we were looking looking at it from today's angle i mean it, there is no doubt about the harmful effects that alcohol has on the, the, the consummation of the person who is consuming it as far as medical research is concerned. And each year, you know, what is significant is that the medical experts, they will actually reduce the level of alcohol they consider safe, and it is now becoming minuscule. They might as well reduce it to zero tolerance. Well, I mean, the general advice preferred now is, is absolutely if you're driving, don't drink. You know, abstinence yeah. completely yeah. now, and, and slowly, slowly, these levels are coming mm -hmm. down. Whereas 1,400 years ago, Islam had given us, given them the answer to all their ills is, is to do ban it. It is causes moral issues. It causes issues of law and order, and we see that in England and how people in authority would love to have alcohol completely banned. It would save the government millions and billions of pound in looking after the ailments and social issues that, that arise from it. However, as far as his question is concerned, it then comes down to the question of whether it is in, in medicinal, medicinals yeah. and whether it causes drowsiness. Mm. Actually, when you look at the aspect of drowsiness for some drugs, some medicines, for cough medicines for instance, that mostly comes from antihistamines that are present in these medications and not from the alcohol content. So drowsiness is caused by other, medic other constituents of medicine rather than alcohol. However, alcohol may be present in some medicines, but there are very few. And if ever there is uh, a choice for you, then obviously you must always choose the one without alcohol in it. But some uh, fukaha, some jurists, actually define as to where does this alcohol come from. If it comes from khamar and, and it comes from dates and wine. wine, if it comes from wine, then they say that that is forbidden, whereas other types of uh, alcohol from ethanol and which is fabricated, synthetic, then they say that that is permitted. Now the thing is that this is for medicinal purposes only, and in that sense one could be permitted if there is no other option to use medicine which has this minute alcohol content in it for that reason.